from Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Uh, so I came here uh, as a part of uh, international art residency program for LIA. for the LIA Art Residency Program uh, for the whole month uh, while I was here. Uh, I was working on a project uh, and I started with the research. Um, so my uh, focus on the research is uh, studying like um, working conditions for females uh, in the cotton industry. Yeah, um, as you know, like uh, LIA is located in the building of Spinagai uh, complex. So before, in the 20th century, it was a cotton mill factory and it was built like a small city where all the people have, uh, apart from working facilities, they had like kindergartens, canteen, like they can do laundries and everything. It, it was located uh, in one at one place, so it will be very convenient for people um, to spend their time here and uh, do uh, the working. So uh, most of the workers at that time, uh, I have found out that uh, most of them they were female workers, and uh, through my research, like uh, going through archival documents and photographs and some of the diaries. Um, I came to conclusion that uh, they, the women, uh, they didn't have like equal um, equal uh, opportunities as men had. Like for example, you can see um, from the positions uh, that men had, like uh, deputy director or head manager of the any department. Yeah, and these were taken mostly by men. And women, uh, they were like uh, the ones who were operating on the machines, you know, like uh, producing the, um, the cotton mill itself and uh, working very, uh, very long hours and not getting paid enough for their working hours. Yeah, so uh, for, this, uh, for these artworks, uh, I decided uh, I will do like a visual parallel between uh, um, biological structure of the cotton uh, seeds and cotton flower uh, between um, female reproductive organs. Yeah. So uh, as you can see, I came out. Uh, I came up with uh, eight with eight uh, drawings, and uh, all of them. Um, uh, you can see them like I decided to make them like in pairs. Like there are uh, in total there are eight works. But then there are four pairs, so uh, each of them like has a one pair to make it more uh, clear. Uh, I can talk about that and explain like uh, the details of my artworks. So we can start from here. Uh, as you can see, the first drawing is the um, drawing of the cotton flower itself, and uh, the second artwork uh, is the drawing of the female reproductive organs. So I find uh, this part is very similar to that part of the flower. Yeah, uh, for the second prayer I find uh, many similarities. Like if you will uh, look at the first one, uh, this is the structure. Uh, like if you cut uh, half the cotton seed, is the diagram of the cotton seed from the inside, like how it looks. Uh, and this is the female fetus when it grows, so I find it very, uh, very similar. Yeah, and for the third pair, uh, as you can see, this is like a diagram of the cotton flower. It's a top view, and this is the um, over uh, the, the women ovaries, and uh, uh, I have shown the the whole cycle. Uh, when it happens, and some of the uh, some part of the the whole system is uh, it it, uh, it reminds me the the part this part of the flower, yeah. And for the last one, uh, if you have a look at that, um, this is the cotton seed, 
and uh, I was very surprised when I find out that uh, even the cotton seed uh, it's very small but it can have uh, veins like uh, normal people have and uh, these veins were uh, reminding me the veins uh, which has the um, female over it yeah so um, and um, that's all about my artworks uh, so uh, my um, this is uh, my first time when I'm doing like uh, art residency program abroad uh, because before I had an experience doing it um, like locally in Uzbekistan like I was trying two different cities it was uh, Bukhara and Margilan uh, but this time uh, when they um, decided to do an open call, an open call for the artist I uh, decided to take uh, action and to apply for this program yeah and um, uh, for that program I had to uh, choose the the main focus of my interest and to send like a um, like a small draft of the project uh, which I'm going to uh, execute when I'll be here so uh, uh, it was very interesting because um, like the country I come from Uzbekistan has a very big uh, history it, it's well known uh, as a country with a big uh, background of cotton industry and this place is also have a big history of a uh, cotton industry so that was the point of me like connecting to that place and it was very you know uh, interesting to to do my research and uh, work on this project um, apart from me uh, in this program um, there are like uh, four more uh, other artists and uh, yeah and uh, we are doing really well together because sometimes we have like uh, dinners and we have like small tradition like uh, where uh, we can cook for each other and uh, try our dishes uh, and I find it very you know um, very heartwarming because uh, you are far away from your families and uh, this tradition makes us uh, like bringing uh, all of us together at one table and we can sit and talk our background, uh, our experiences like we were sharing our um, portfolios you know and uh, talking about the history of, the, our, of our countries and uh, I really enjoyed staying here and also we had like different uh, excursion excursions uh, and uh, like um, master classes and workshops and one of them um, I remember we were going to the uh, Museum of Anthropology in Leipzig it was uh, uh, not far from the city center and uh, this workshop was uh, was held by um, Philippa I forgot her surname <laughs> yeah and uh, she is a very uh, interesting person because uh, I find her practices um, very intriguing and uh, she is like uh, okay her main uh, focus of uh, interest is the decolonization so we were doing a workshop on the uh, decolonization topic uh, yeah, and also we had an excursion to Berlin. It was very short but uh, very productive day. And apart from that, uh, I went to Weimar. Is it the correct way? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, Weimar. Uh, I had the dream like before coming to Germany. I had my I did my research and I uh, really wanted to see Bauhaus Museum in Weimar. So before Weimar, uh, I was planning to to see it uh, in uh, this town. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't uh, very sure like uh, which. Uh, which days they are open because uh, on the website I find out like they are doing constructions or whatever so I decided to go to Weimar and it was very uh, fulfilling very uh, interesting um, visit so they have like a three or four story building full of uh, background and different like they have different sections explaining uh, different uh, 
topics they are focusing on, like and uh, talking about different designers. Yeah, and it was very uh, helpful for me as uh, uh, because uh, apart from doing uh, artist work, uh, I, I'm also working as a graphic designer. So for me, it was very uh, useful to uh, learn about the background, about the history, and uh, different theories they had. Yeah, and uh, also uh, I had visited like few places in Leipzig. Uh, one of them it was uh, uh, Museum of Fine Arts. Yeah, MG MGBK, I guess. Yeah, um, and uh, most uh, the most uh, the majority of the artworks they are. Um, focused on the Romanticism uh, era uh, but um, some of them they had like um, religious topics like Adam and Eve, uh, the apple and stuff and, uh, and I also liked uh, um, some of the portraits uh, and uh, I, ha I, I have seen like uh, very big um, very big paintings which was combined with painting, architecture, and the sculpture, and uh, it was like for me first time seeing like uh, three different ways uh, combined into one genre. Yeah, that's all about it. <laughs>